Girl Puffs, how are we today? I'm super, super excited because today is the first of my series of Valentine's looks. I love it because I'm so obsessed with reds and pinks and purples as like eyeshadow looks. Um, it gives me so much like um, to play with and do sort of things. So we're going to be doing some like more subtle looks. We're going to be doing glittery sparkle looks. We're going to be doing some like really out there looks. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. So we are today going to be doing a glittery look. We're going to be using, 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 again, um, the Huda nude, new nude palette. It's literally just perfect. If we're going with glittery and, and Valentine's-y, I mean, you don't get more of a perfect palette than this one. So we're going to be doing with that. If you'd like to see what, what that turns out like, come on with. Okay, so we're going to take my Sigma E40 brush and we're going to take it in. I'm going to actually swish it, swish it on this thing. Oh, I miss my unique brush cleaner. I need to get more. I really do. Okay. Anyway, we're going to be using the colour Bear. And we're just... Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> we are, but not yet. We are going to, first of all, take our Tarte Tape Shape. Tape Shape? Shape Tape. I always do that. Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the colour Porcelain Beige. I have been told I don't hold this up long enough, so there you go. How long is long enough? Is this long enough? Is this long enough? When do we get too long? Is this too long now? Anyway, this is in porcelain beige and we're gonna pop that just on to our eyelid like a soul, like a soul. And we're going to use our wet sponge and we're just gonna pop that over the lid like so. Bounce it, we're gonna bounce, we're gonna bounce it into the lid. Okay. Perfect. I am actually, I'm actually starting to feel okay. Like I still have to be so careful because what I tend to do is if I have a single minute of feeling better, I'm like, I'm well, let's go do everything. And I, I will get myself back to being sick super fast. So I have to be really careful and really tread lightly. And I'm trying to really be sensible and aware of myself. But I am actually feeling like I can do stuff today. So I'm, I'm obviously I'm recording. And I will be editing. And then that kind of be my thing for the day because although for most people sitting in a chair putting makeup on is probably not particularly like taxing, it is for someone with fibro and um, you know, like my back aches and stuff from doing it. So um I will then need to rest from doing it. But like I'm so excited to be I can't even tell you how happy I am to be here. Uh, right, now we're taking that bear colour. <laughs> um I am all over the lid. I, I can't tell you how happy I am to be here and to be able to be recording because I've been so bored. When you can't, I don't, I don't care that much about TV. Like it's nice sometimes to be able to like just chill out and shove some Netflix on or shove a film on or whatever and and mong out for a day. But for five weeks, I've been able to do barely anything other than watch TV. And sometimes even TV is too much. It has been too much. Like when my headache with the meningitis was really bad. I couldn't see, look at screens. Like it, it's been, it's been, it's been some tough times. But like, like not like comparatively, other people have had a much worse time of it than I am. I know that much. But you know, comparatively, it's been a bit of a tough time. Right. So then we are going to take this beautiful colour here called Secret, Secret, and I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to just take that and we're going to take that in the outside corner like so and then over into the arch like this but we're not going to go all the way across we're going to go like two thirds of the way across and kind of leave this much there so yeah so it's been kind of i've just i've just been literally i find it soul destroying to lie in bed and do nothing else i don't know about anyone else but i think i don't know if it's being a mother being a woman or if that's entirely like I don't know, is that sexist to say only being a woman? I'm sure men would find, no, I, in fact, I know men would, a lot of men would find it the same and there's probably women that would enjoy it. Anyway, point is, I hate being in bed. I hate being laid up. I hate having a million jobs to do and knowing I can't do any. I like, it's, I don't often get into a really organization kind of mood where I want to just get everything sorted. But for the last like couple of days, 
like no last couple of weeks all i wanted to do is been organizing and sorting things out and and just getting on top of things and i've been able to do absolutely none of it um and it's been very frustrating and like to, i can do something for maybe like an hour and then i'm back in bed for the rest of the day and then if i've done something for like an hour or a couple of hours um right let's take oh where's my brush gone here is we're going to take the Zoeva tapered brush and we're going to take Tickle here, this colour. And we're going to put it in the same place but just more, what's it called? It's not going to come up as high, my words. Um, then I don't even have the brain power to kind of, I don't know, sit and knit or sit and even do something whilst I'm lying down. Like my brain has been switching off so like, it, and I've just been exhausted, I've had to go to sleep, whatever it is. So it's just been, anyway, I found it incredibly, incredibly frustrating. And I love recording these videos. I love playing with makeup. I love getting to chat with you guys. I just, I really, I literally have found my niche here. I, this is this is what I've loved. Like, this is what I always loved about Unique is getting on my lives and chatting with you guys and stuff. So, like, this is literally everything to me. This so It brings me so much joy to be here. And, um, yeah. Um, and it's been kind of killing me like although I've only missed one video and I managed to record and stuff it's just been it's just been frustrating to not be able to be like oh I've got this idea and I've got that idea and I've got that, this idea and I want to just go and do it and I want to get like I've got my big whiteboards up that I want to get like all oh, like my scheduling program uh, like uh, program like my video pro schedule on and I, I want to reorganize the office and I want to re-sort the living room like my living room is like my whole house is so disgustingly messy because my husband bless him he's tr trying so hard at the moment to keep on top of everything but he's one person and he has to work and we are to school the kids and you know my house gets messy at the best of times so add in like that I can't do anything bless him so my house is just not the one at the moment either so yeah I'm getting a little bit stir crazy can you tell okay we're going to go back in with what did I just use here secret and I just want to kind of blend that out a little bit more with that sigma brush so I just want to blend that up a little bit higher with that sigma brush it's so pretty okay and then we're gonna oh like ah uh, then we're going to take, where's my little brush gone? Hey, Urban Decay brush. And there you are, the EON E209 brush. And we're going to just deepen this up just a tiniest bit with this raw colour here. Um, so yeah, I've been going a little bit stir crazy. Um, so the slightest sign of me feeling a little bit better, literally the tiniest bit, like that's it. And then I want to... I kind of want to, I'm wiping off all the excess off that brush on my leg. <laughs> and I just want to pull that out just a little a tiny bit with the belly of the brush. And then we're just going to tiny bit blend that through like that. But yeah, so I've been craving feeling well, being able to get up. So this is actually the first day, realistically, that I've been able to be up and recording and being able to sit for this long and have a chat and stuff I don't know how my afternoon is gonna look but it's promising because it's so much more than I've been able to do for a while so so this is a really rambly chatty video um but yeah I'm super I'm just I'm super happy to be here and I wanted to share it so if any of you have been suffering a bit ill over the winter then like I'm with you guys I'm with you right okay I just have to like take the slack off my back for a second so again I know I probably a huge amount of my audience has fibro I know that a lot of people I, that I follow on Instagram and follow me on Instagram have got fibromyalgia or ME or CFS which they're basically the same thing in fact they are the same thing just different names um like I know so many people with invisible illnesses and I put up a post the other day about my my illness because I don't like to whine and moan I like to generally focus on the positive because it's positive in everything right let's take let's take fantasy which is this color here and we're going to take that on our ring finger and we're going to just pop that over the lid um yeah so we've we've had like a lot of I, I put this post up basically I, I'd had a horrific day and um it just everything I, I just like I was at the limits of everything like I was one of the worst days I've had in a long time and I ended up having a really bad 
incident at Ikea and I just I was just like feeling horrendous like I, I was just pouring with tears because I was so upset about like this being my life and like most of the time I find the blessings I look for the blessings because it's much happier when you can look for the blessings and for me my illness means that I can't work full time and as much as that can be seen as a like in a traditional job as much as that can be seen as um, a negative thing and sometimes it drives me mad that we just don't have the money that we would have if I could work a traditional job or whatever else or even if I could just work like a few nights a week in a pub a pub or a restaurant or something like that that few extra hundred pounds can make a massive difference but um so you know that gets frustrating to me sometimes but also it's meant that because I can't work I have been able to homeschool my kids and it probably wouldn't have been an option if we were relying on that second wage coming in so you know everything has its purpose everything has a reason everything has blessings to be found in it for sure but it was just one of those days that it was I, I just had had enough anyway and I wanted to post about it because I'm really uh it's really important to me to be real I I hate accounts or I hate that's such a strong word I don't hate anything but I I just like I I I I, oh, I can't find my words but I'm not a fan of um accounts that only show the good the good the good the good the good because you can't, I don't, equally, I, I would far prefer that over accounts that show the bad, the bad, the bad, the bad, the bad. Like whining and moaning just brings you down. It makes you focus on the wrong things in life. Like that's not my bag. But some, everything has a balance and sometimes it sucks and sometimes it's amazing. And I think it's so important to share both sides because there were so many people that reached out to me from that post who were helped by it because it's good to know you're not alone. All we want as humans is to know that we're not alone and and we're, we're pack animals we really are and we are we're not meant to be alone we're supposed to lift each other we're supposed to be like a village we're supposed to all work together to make this life everything it can be um and so yeah sometimes it's really important to share those moments and, and that's what i did and yeah I, it it really seemed to help a lot of people and so i kind of want to still continue to share some of the things that are part of my daily life that i may be shy away from but without doing too much without kind of making it a miserable thing because my life is beautiful and that's what i think is important to know you can have these illness and have the most beautiful life i love my life i have moments where it's hard everyone does right i'm using this daydream color in the in the thing on a tiny little brush everybody does everybody has moments let's let's wear that actually everybody has moments where it's hard everyone has and to my life for someone else might be a dream because their life is so hard do you know I mean? they have other challenges um but you know it's all relative and you know there are everyone's gonna have bad days everyone's gonna have tough times but without those tough times we cannot appreciate the good you know i will when i become well again when i get into my stride and i get back to daily life when i'm able to do that bit more oh i'm gonna appreciate it so much more because i had this tough time so I'm rambling. I always often end up rambling in the, in my in my videos. But this is kind of I, I really enjoy doing like this tutorial side of things, but I also loved to just chat with people and ramble at you and, and things like that. So I really would love the feedback at the moment of what kind of thing you want to see with me. Do you want my videos to be more like my lives where where I chatted with you like this, or do you want them to be the short, cut down, just tutorial kind of things? Do you want it to be a mix of both? Like, let me know what you think. Okay. So that by itself is so pretty, is it not, right? Is it not absolutely beautiful? That add some liner and lashes and we would be there. However, I would like to add glitter because that's what I'm all about. I'm about the glitter. So I'm trying to not jog the camera, which I know is going to be, sorry. Uh, we're still not using a camera. This is still my phone because my camera's not arrived yet. It's on its way, so I'm not going to stress about it. Um, and obviously the snow is going to have delayed things. Okay, so we're going to use um, a flat synthetic brush. We're using the, this is the Revolution, look how hot worn it is. Um, glitter glue. Oh, my makeup is so messy. <laughs> and we're just going to pop that over the kind of middle section. Like, not that light of it we just put in, but the rest of it. I'm going to pop that over there. And then with my finger, I'm going to take um, the lighter of the, the glitters. These are the two glitter shades. I think the lighter one, which is called 
infatuated and we're gonna pop that just all over that area for a little glitzy glam but yeah anyway so my, oh, as I was saying, there is a lot of people that that follow me and that are part of my life that have the same illnesses or similar illnesses, and so they're going to appreciate that sometimes you've got to sit back and let your back rest, or sometimes you know taking a deep breath hurts, <laughs> you know, like that kind of thing. So you know, I'm gonna just I just want to be real um, and realistic with people, and um, yeah, that's kind of the, the thing that's come to me lately that I think it's important to do. So. Anyway, look how beautiful that is. I don't think it will show up in camera as nicely as it does in real life, but it's all good. So let me pop off. I'm going to, am I going to eyeliner this? What do we think? Yeah, I'm going to eyeliner this. Should I do that on camera? No, this has been a really chatty video. There's not going to be time. I'm going to eyeliner this. I'm going to put lashes on. I'm going to do the other eye and then I'm going to be right back. So I will see you in a sec. I am back. We have lashes, a little bit of eyeliner on. Again, these are the blooming lashes I don't like. These are the Hello Beauty lashes. I'm using them because I don't have others. Um, but my Ardells are ordered and on their way. Okay, so we need to. I had to wipe away the excess underneath my eyes with um, um with makeup remover um because there was a lot of fallout. So um, that's fine because we're going in with it. We haven't used. I haven't done concealer. Oh, I'd say my bags though, man. Okay, we're going to be using the um, Jouer concealer. Again, how long do I hold this for? Jouer. It is in custard shade. Oh my gosh, I can't tell. It's too hard not to say flavour. Okay, custard shade. The shade custard. And it's going underneath my eyes like so. And then we're going to use a little... Uh, what's this called? <laughs> Blending sponge. We're going to blend that out like so. Beautiful. And then we're going to just use the tiniest, 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 tiniest amount of setting powder. Which I'm using the unique behold setting powder it's just really lovely fine grained um thing we're going to tap off all of the excess because we have very dry skin and we're just gonna lightly put the smallest amount of that on because i have the dry skin and i don't want it to set into my wrinkles or create wrinkles and creases we just want it to set that concealer a tiny bit okay so then we're going to go under our eyes we're going to use secret and then we're going to use uh tickled um we're going to use the what's this called <laughs> the zoe first tapered brush first with secret and i'm just gonna we're gonna kind of look up and pop that along underneath and i'm gonna kind of blow that out quite a bit like so and to use our tart uh this is lights camera lashes i think this was a special edition one because of the coloring of the packaging i'm not sure though i could be completely wrong um the only thing is the packaging does slip off so you have to like really hold that bit as you're untwisting it so you can get it out anyway let's l l use that on our lower very lower lashes that will do nicely okay and then i'm not going to do like loads of contour or anything with this i'm going to do just quite a soft thing so we're going to use actually i'm going to use my beach front, my unique beach front bronzer this time and i'm going to use this big old fluffy tart brush this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal. It's so cute. Heavy Metal. Um, this is in the shade Volume and it's a glitter liner. And I'm just going to pop that on underneath the lash line. Just to bring that little bit of glitter through. And then I'm going to use the Stila Colour Liquid Shadow in cloud 
and I'm just going to pop a tiny amount of that into our inner corner just to highlight that area so pretty okay and then I'm going to pop a little bit of my very beloved and wrecked Nico Pro liquid jelly blusher this is in colour barley oh my gosh did I know that? Have I, I might have talked about that before, but no wonder I love this. Barney's like the favorite place I've ever been. I've not been to many places, but it was my honeymoon. It's where we went for our honeymoon and like, oh, it's the best. I highly recommend Barley to anybody. Okay. And then we're gonna use my Bobbi Brown um, highlighter. This is in, this is Pink Glow. Um, and we're going to use a, Fluffy brush. Let's use this one. This is like an old Real Techniques one. Let's give this a try. And we're, oh no, I had a. I blew that in right properly. Let's try again. And we're going to just pop that. It really does give an incredibly kind of subtle glow. I don't know if this is too dark for me, you know. It's like the lightest one they do, though. So. <laughs> I'm not sure this is a good brush for putting it on to be honest. Mm. So I'm using, I'm testing a new, new slash old. This used to be, this foundation I'm wearing today used to be my favorite back in the day, but um, I wanted to test it again and I'm not, it's very drying. I think I am very much leaning towards needing dewy, 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 dewy foundation for, I've got dry skin I can't wear the matte stuff so that's what I need to be aiming my life at is everything dewy right okay so let's just remove the uh I had like um what did I have I had uh what is this oh my gosh put the words in this is the bonbon again by Unique amazing for keeping my lips soft I'm just going to real quick actually exfoliate because there's still some dry skin on them before I put a lipstick on. And then I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown lipstick. I love this. This is in Mauve Over and it is their Lux Matte Lip Colour. Just grab a mirror. A second. Oh, <laughs> completely messed up the edge there. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? But as I do with all of my any matte kind of lip is I use my Unique Hottie over the top of that to just give it that glossy feel because I prefer that. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, and then last step, we're gonna set with some, so much of it. Oh, <laughs> my lid's got caught to my lower things. That's all right, we haven't, we haven't like got residue over. Um, this is Matt Prep and Prep and Pram. Okay, and that, my dears, is the finished look. I hope you like it. Um, please do, if you um, like my channel, please do take the time to subscribe and press the notification bell so you can know when my videos are uploading. I'm changing my upload schedule as we speak um, to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, but I am really nervous announcing that because I want so badly to be consistent, um, but I'm so aware of my limitations with my illness, but I really want to be able to keep to that. So that is my plan going forward is Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos um but absolute minimum of a friday <laughs> um so anyway i hope you have the um absolute best day um and um yeah please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video if you have any thoughts about you know chatty versus like tutorial that kind of thing um i would be thrilled to know have the most amazing day i love you all bye